don't even know what I just sent him. Oh, hi. This generation, always on their phones. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Jupiter X Today, it's I'm Corbin. I'm Ricky. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter. Twitter. Hey, welcome to some Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. We both have a communication squad. Bang! Beautiful, beautiful, stupid Patreon baby. Remember the T to Big B? I do. Yeah. If you haven't seen that video, go find it. We experienced that. When we that. were in India. We experienced the T of Big B. Also, one of our videos from India got to a million views. Hey, the Punjabi food one. That's awesome. Yeah. That was a great video to make because it was delicious. Delicious. Anyways, uh, today. What and, are we doing? Uh, the trailer, it dropped, I think, a few days ago. It has Tebu. <gasps> New? Is this new or is yeah, this it's older? Yeah, a new one. Oh, yay! I think it's a BBC thing, actually. Cool! Uh, but it has... Cousin Tony would say that that stands for better be crap. Cool. Cool. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a BBC. It's a, a suitable boy. Ah! So it's a story about us as kids. Ishan... Ka Ishan uh, Qatar, Taboo, and Miranair. We know that name. Um... Don't know what it's about. A... But I wonder if it's in English if it's a BBC thing. It could be. Interesting. Okay, here we go. No one can be sure of what the future will be. You will marry a boy I choose. I don't think I ever want to get married. India is a free country now. Your sister, my brother, I'm supposed to be next. Who is he, this boy you have been seen with? We should follow our own path. Nobody ever meant anything to me till I met you. His obsession with that woman. Have you no shame at all? He's a Muslim, Lata. Your family will be against him. One day I will make you proud. I am determined. I won't give up until I found my Lata suitable boy. A suitable boy. <laughs> On BBC One and iPlayer. That was such a different trailer than we've normally been accustomed to. <laughs> Truly. Because the it, whole feel was very different. It was very different. They were all speaking English. Which, obviously, as we know, a lot of people in India speak English. So it's the, the second majority. largest speaking country in the world next yep. to America. Yep. But normally it's not all English. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and so it and was a little strange weird. Strange <laughs> seeing. Also, how does the BBC. Here, our view of the BBC and most of the stuff they do, we haven't watched them out of their India stuff. They're, they're a fantastic. They're excellent. Production company. Yes. But that's their different relationship with India, obviously, as we know. Correct. And so I want to know how the quality is of them usually doing Indian stuff. Right. Uh, that is something I don't know. Obviously, they're getting talented actors yep. to work with them, like Taboo. Right. So that's good. But I don't know how the quality overall is. It, it might seem a little strange to me if it's, in, if it's taking place in India and everybody is speaking English. I know. I mean, like I said, I, I know people, like almost everybody there knows English. Like, <laughs> but it's not the normal case that we've seen with films. Yeah, it's just... It's just an interesting choice because... Um, if I was taking, if I was doing a film in, about India, in India, I'd be like, okay, speak as much of your normal, as you normally would. Right. Where this place is taken. Mm, so if you too. would normally speak English in certain parts, that's fine. Speak English, but if, speak your normal tongue if that's what you want. Right. And we'll do subs. So. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, it is. It, it's a, it is strange to see a full Indian thing taking place completely in India. It's like the, re it's almost like, it's not the, Fully like, but when I watch old films that are telling Bible stories, <laughs> and Jesus is on the Mount of Olives, and he's white with blonde hair. He's white with blonde hair, and he's doing this. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall see the kingdom of heaven. What? <laughs> Since when did he become a Shakespearean actor? Oh, always. always. Shakespeare has always been white, blonde, it's true. And British. Well, Shakespeare was around in Israel back in the day. Uh, in fact, I think he wrote the Gospel of Luke. He did. He was the ghostwriter for that. In case you didn't know it, it's in the Book of Opinions. 
Anyway, anyways. Uh, so I'm guessing though it's about like a, uh, they're just telling the story of the a bunch of people that want to get married and the parents want to pick them. So it's like an arranged marriage. Arranged marriage with another thing in there that's really important is the fact that clearly this isn't just a, a, a an, you know, the parent wants an arranged marriage, the suitable boy, and she wants a love marriage, but the boy also is a Muslim. Mm -hmm. So that adds a whole other layer to this for them mm -hmm. that I'm very interested. The fact, obviously, that Taboo is in it uh, and it's directed by Mira Nair, uh, that, you know, that has a credibility factor where did that's we know very, her very from? high. I know she did Monsoon Wedding, but where did we know her from? Um, um, I just remember Monsoon Wedding. From, well, there's another, there's another thing we've seen recently. With Mira Nair's name attached to She directed to the, names, the, the namesake. The namesake. Yeah, she directed that. Okay. Which is why she loves to work with uh, Taboo. Yeah. Uh, and there's always, there's one guy, and I know he's going to shout at me on Twitter, because he always shouts at me that we haven't watched Namesake yet. <laughs> it's not because we don't want to. There's a bunch of stuff we have to get to. Obviously we want to. And it's Taboo and you know Irfan. And somebody pointed out, and it's right, but it's so it's so funny. We love you guys. You with, there is a passion that you guys have, um, and it's unlike any other YouTube channel, especially a reaction channel. The level of ferocity that Stupid Babies have and demanding of us mm -hmm. to do certain things. And you know what's fantastic is when you respond, like someone will, someone will put in a request and bless their hearts, they've sent me something for months, and then I finally reply because if they send me a request, it's the same thing. guys. I know what we're watching when he turns it on. I don't have the foggiest clue what we're doing. I don't make recommendations. I just show up and see what you and the stupid family selected. But I'll get messages that say, what, you don't care for your fans anymore? I've been asking for you this since January. And then when I reply with, what, because I haven't responded to you, I don't care about you. And then the reply is, I'm so sorry, I'm just glad I got your attention. I love you, please, I hope I didn't offend you. It's beautiful. We love you guys so much. Um, so keep being passionate and keep blaming him. But oh, I know, blame it on Rohan. But anyways, let us know about this and how the BBC usually does. Better they, be crap. They did hire an Indian uh, director uh, and great Indian talent. Yep. So that's great. But if their vision is different, well, hopefully they, they let Mira just take the ball and run with it. Anyways, yeah. Let us know. Yeah,